What's up, what's up, what's up, man? It's cold out here, not welder, but cold, but pretty dang chilly, man. It was 76 yesterday, right now it's 46 and it's falling. We got a major cold front moving through. There's a chance of like snow flurries tonight. In the morning, it's gonna be 31, then high of 42. Next couple of days, the lows are gonna be like 20, the highs in the 40s. So fall, bye-bye, winter, come on in. Let's dump this boat in. It's cold, man. Nose is running, I got the sock cap on. I'm seeing shad everywhere though. I am seeing a bunch of shad on top of the water. So the wind is going to be horrible today. Super, super windy. Um, got to have gusts up to like 40 miles an hour. So I'm going to try to stay out of the wind. I'm going to be fishing these north banks just to stay out of the wind. Let's do it. I'm excited. Who knows what's going to happen? It's a new day. You just never know until you go out there. man it's tough out here i thought it'd be really really good fishing and i've been throwing a frog a bunch cannot get bit picked up the little burner crawl punch rig and just made about 40 flips and caught a decent fish <sighs> you just never know until you get out here what's going to be like got a uh, cold front conditions it's really cold out here it's like the air temperature's falling super breezy and um fish are not being cooperative but it's gonna change i'm gonna keep after it there's some fish in this grass mat for sure they won't come up and hit a frog you have to go in after them Cheddar bait, trying this out 3 8 ounce um, gizzard shad, a little uh, smoke shad on the back. Decent fish, it's slow, but we're starting to figure some stuff out. Just keep bouncing around. It's a nice fish, good quality fish. I'm working this bait like you'd be working a lipless. You just kind of cast it out. There's, I'm in like six foot of water. I'm just working it over this grass, but I'm kind of pumping it real soft reeling it a little bit and just kind of giving it little twitches and stuff that seems to be what they're wanting today i mean they're down there in that grass i can't get them to come up for a frog or any kind of top water and i punched and i don't know caught one punching but this doesn't seem like it's the deal so i just got these things in the mail and they're really sweet i like them now the fall time you get a lot of shad that are small and the bass start keying on this smaller shad and that's i think that's why this mini max is working today little guy little guy was a mini max There's a couple bites i've had right here at this thing What the hell? 
heck, I was cleaning my sunglasses off. Oh, I got off. That's crazy. Cleaning my sunglasses off and fish grabbed it. Little guy. That's what I'm throwing around, guys. Um, this is the little Mini Max by Chatterbait. It's a 3 8 ounce gizzard shad, and I've got this little hard hog farmer spunk shad. This is the ghost minnow. It's a three and a half inch minnow, and it fits it fits on there just perfect. Been throwing it on a really sweet rod. This is the Jewel Virtus rod. Seven foot two, medium heavy, fast. Their swim jig rod, red diamond. This is a super sensitive rod. Um, it's it's been kind of a multi-purpose rod. You can throw um, swim jigs on it. You can throw chatter baits on it. You can Texas rig. You know, lighter three eighths ounce Texas rig, a tube, a small jig like a finesse jig, swim jig. It's just real multi-purpose, super sensitive. But that's in the 15 pound fluorocarbon, and we're just working this grass. It's tough out here, but we are managing to pick up a few fish. Really kind of digging this chatterbait. There he is. Oh, Mini Max. Fish? Man, he's eating this thing. There we go. Look at that. That fish ate it. You think that fish wanted that mini max? Wow. I know, buddy. I'm sorry, but I can't give you this bait. There's no way I can give you this bait. There we go. Fun, man. Took a little break. Out of life, scoping crappie. A little Cumberland Pro Apex underspin, baby. Yeah. There he is. He's hopping it through that grass. Through that grass popping it around i need to get like a quarter ounce this three eighths actually sinks pretty quick and just there's not a lot of skirt there and then it falls really good but just popping it in that grass up and down that grass there's definitely fish up there shallow just can't get them to come up and hit something off the top i'm liking this little thing it's pretty unique look at this wind blowing out here folks man it is a cold winter feeling day air temperatures are probably Low 40s, the wind's blowing like 20, gust up to 30 or so, and I am catching a few fish. I've been mixing it up. I'm throwing that Chatterbait Mini Max with the little hog farmer spunk shad. This is the three and a half inch. And all I'm doing, this is the little Chatterbait. This is a three eighths ounce gizzard shad. Little Mini Max, really cool little bait. First time I've thrown it, just got these in the other day. and just threading this little sucker up there. It's a little small nubby looking thing. It's got this little tail. It has decent little action though. Just threading this sucker up there like this. Come out like that. I mean, you guys know how to do this. Just run it up on there. And I've been touching the tail of that with just a little bit of chartreuse, but it's a nice compact little presentation. And I'm throwing this on a Jewel Virtus seven foot two swim jig rod, medium heavy. Great rod, red diamond series. Got it on 15 pound fluorocarbon. And I have a Daiwa Tatula reel. This has been getting some bites. This is fun, you know, fishing something different. Um, a lot of bait in the grass, a lot of small bait in the grass, and throwing a little bit smaller chatter bait. Really cool thing about this bait is it really, it doesn't have as much resistance because the skirt, it's a finesse type skirt. It's got thinner jig material, a thinner skirt material on it. 
so it's really wispy. It really, it really does this. It really does this. I've been kind of gliding it, you know, throwing it out, just kind of reeling it in, just kind of pulling it and letting it kind of do this over the grass. And then when you get next to a clump, you can kind of let it fall and it falls really quick. I've been watching on the live scope and it really, really does this. It's a cool action. It had a bunch of bites on it. A bunch of bites, a lot of small fish popping at it, some crappie popping at it. And we've managed to catch a few nice fish. And the other thing I've been doing is throwing the spinner bait. And the wind really picked up. So I thought, man, I, I just, I love throwing a spinner bait any time of the year, but especially in the fall. And this is just a half ounce Cumberland Pro spinner bait. I got a little zoom split tail and it's old. It's just been sitting in the box. I haven't thrown a spinner bait much lately, but gold front bait, blade, silver back blade. I like to mix them up. I like to have a gold and a, and a silver blade. And this is just a shad pattern. I don't even know what they call that, but I'm throwing that on 15 pound test and I've got a Falcon Kara. The old Falcon Kara, man, this is a good rod too. I got a mess here. Um, seven foot medium heavy. This is the Carolina rig, what is it called? This is the Kara Lizard Dragger. Falcon Kara Lizard Dragger. It's a little bit heavy. It's not necessarily what I would normally throw a spinnerbait rod on, but I left my spinnerbait rod at the house because I wasn't really planning on doing that. I was planning on getting down down dirty and nasty up in the grass, but I couldn't get a grass bite going. Threw a frog a bunch. Never got a bite on a frog. Caught one punching. Had a couple little bites punching, but for whatever reason, it seems like they moved outside of this grass or the ones that are in the grass just weren't wanting to play. So you gotta, you gotta mix it up, man. That's just the way it is. Fishing's always like that, fall especially. You gotta just keep playing around and mixing it up and figuring out what the fish are wanting to bite on, but we've got a little bit more time. So what we're doing is we're, we're focusing on the backs of these little pockets. There's a bunch of little pockets down here and uh, my nose is running. But grass, there's shad, the wind's blowing in the back of these little pockets and we're just kind of running down the last third of these pockets and picking up a few bites. Got a little bit more time before we get start. Let's see if we can catch a few fish. To that spinner bait. I mean, I'm getting a lot of bites on that mini max, and I'm just looking for a little bit bigger bite. Decent fish. It's a little half ounce Cumberland Pro spinner bait. Nothing fancy. There he is. I want that little lay down. Where he's supposed to be. There we go. Right off that lay down. Okay. Another one for the spinner bait. We got a little spinnerbait bite going. Just in the back of this cove, playing the wind. Got those spots on there. They start getting those spots this time of year. Another beautiful fish. So mixing it up, buttercup. Mm hmm. It's cold out here, folks. I mean, it is cold. It's like, I don't know, feels like it's about 40 degrees. There he is. 
being in the right spot at the right time. So it's just moved in here. It's a nice fish. Come here. There we go. Ha ha! That's gonna wrap it up, folks. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. Man, the mini max is really cool. It's a fun little chatterbait. I mean, if you're a bank fisherman, definitely look into it. I think they have a quarter ounce size. That's gonna be what you want for fishing out the bank. Anything else? The three eighths. I didn't throw the half ounce. I do have some, but the half ounce is gonna get down there really deep. Uh, mixing it up with the spinnerbait, and right here at the end end of the day, just a little Cumberland Pro Apex underspin. Man, it's a good one. It's got a little small swim bait on there. Give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Fall, man. This is the end of fall. Winter is coming. I'm glad I got on this a little bit of a fall bite. And well, really, you know, as long as the temperatures stay up there in the 50s, the bite's going to be good. Once it gets below 50, it's really tough. Things like the A rig, jerk bait, spoon thing. But uh, it was fun. It was fun. Bouncing around. Till next time. Gotta get you some of those. These things are awesome.